I made recent the review and demonstration of the advanced power strips. This is 5 outlet and this was a 7 outlet, a little different looking. The company here was green light. And recently I came across uh, this brand, Plug Load. Brand, also very cheap, $149 at thrift store. And this is a 7 outlet uh, advanced power strip. So I'm going to review, take a look inside. The outlet arrangement is pretty typical. So you have a couple of outlets always on. And this one is the control outlet and energy saving. This means that this will have always electricity on. However, if this appliance gets turned on, the remaining outlets will get turned on. When this if appliance gets turned off or unplugged, the rest of them will lose the power as well. So this one will control the four remaining outlets. Uh, what's interesting is that out of the seven screws, uh, four have the one-way uh, screw head. Uh, and this thing can be tricky to unscrew. You cannot use a flat head, but you can use a flat head with an incision in the center. And this is what I used. And the sides of the screwdriver will latch against that head and you can open it up with that. So I'm going to take a look inside, see the electronics and see what's going on inside. This is the close-up of the printed circuit board and right on the bed I can see three SMD transistors so I'm going to point it with a with a screwdriver so with the edge of a screwdriver so we have one little transistor right here, SMD, there is another one, and there's a third one right here. We also have a few diodes, and this one is marked ZD, which means probably Zener diode. And there is a bridge, rectifier bridge right here, and we have a couple of uh, one amp diodes right here. On the other side, on the reverse of the board, we have quite a few electrolytic capacitors, which is not very good news because they usually have a limited lifespan, maybe up to 20, if they are good quality, 30 years, but eventually they will uh, fail. Uh, but we have uh, a few of them, we have five of them. We have one trim pot uh, right here, and we have the current transformer with one winding going through it, and we have, this is the whole voltage, uh, over voltage suppressor arrangement and there is one relay and this one is 24 uh, DC and the current is 20 amps, 125 volts uh, AC. That's a pretty good beefy uh, relay to turn on and off the outlets, the energy saving outlets, uh, the four of them. The circuit is a little more complex than the very simple one that I showed before in the 7 outlet strip, but it's less complicated than the one in the 5 outlet. Now this strip doesn't have a switch, however it has this 15 amp over current circuit breaker, so if you exceed 15 amps to trip off then you have to press it back on and can use the strip again. So I'm going to put it all back together and uh, test it with a load and see how it behaves. Now the arrangement here is very simple. I plugged in into the control outlet a power supply with controlled voltage on the output and the output of the power supply is connected to a 20 ohm resistor. So we are going to increase uh, gradually the voltage and then watch the power consumption go up. At, at some point the control outlets, the energy saving out will go on and the light will indicate that the relay had uh, gone on. So at this moment I'm going to watch the power and keep increasing the voltage here on the output. So and again this will, uh, this output uh, supplies the big resistor in the back. So we can see the increase in amps, increase in voltage, here there's the power consumption overall and then we go up and up and up increasing the voltage on the output here and wait for the light to go on and this should here you go 
So we had about 12 uh, watts. Now 15.8 uh, means that 3.3 watts of the power consumption by the LED light is added to it. Uh, so in reality we have 12.85 uh, uh, watts. Uh, let's just decrease it and see at what point the light will go off. So very slowly, gently. Right now you can see it's still on. Uh, so let's let's watch that light and keep turning down the power. And we'll see at what point we have 10 watts. And we are going to go lower and lower. Now remember to subtract uh, the 3.3 from the 10 watts. This is overall consumption. Uh, Okay, so we are going to go down. Now we have 9.8 overall. Let's go down a notch. 9.7 5 Three, two, nine. Okay, this is about nine watts, but we remember uh, to subtract this. So we have a uh, five point seven uh, watts uh, is the cutoff. Well, this is it, and since this is a switch mode power supply, uh, there's no flickering. There's no problem. Uh, but keep in mind that there's a slight delay, so if I disconnect this all together, we'll see uh, we have a few seconds, uh, about two and a half seconds uh, for this outlet, uh, these outlets to uh, turn off. Well, this is my review. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. And I think this is a very good. The only downside is that it doesn't have the switch. Uh, which all of them have. However, it has the circuit breaker 15 amp. If you exceed, this will uh, trip and then you have to push it back on. It's got a nice uh, surge protection and the consumption uh, just for the LED to light it up is 0.3 watts, which is quite a bit. I don't really like it too much. Uh, it's not much, but it's still too much. Well, thank you for watching.